5.52, Big 5.50 KTRS. Larry's the man. Larry Senna back with uh, First Rule. Comes in each and every week and blows our head uh, Hi, with new technology. What's going on? Oh, well, we got a lot of stories out there this week, but I brought you three fun ones. All right, go ahead. So first one's kind of a light story. We won't spend too long on it. Uh, console maker Nintendo, we might all remember from the 1980s, yes. you know, makers of Mario, Duck Hunt, number of other stuff. They actually released a new console yesterday, released images that it's coming out in March of 2017. Very weird. You know, Nintendo's been kind of struggling compared to Microsoft and Sony. And right. honestly, I believe this is a make or break moment for them uh -huh. as far as uh, making their own consoles. Basically, they've made, you know, what would be like an Xbox or PlayStation that sits on your on your counter in your entertainment center. But it's all based within a tablet. And you can dock the tablet in this particular you know system, and it's on your TV, and you're you know using it like normal. Mm -hmm. But then you can take it with you on planes, on you know play it remotely, play it in the living room, and you can slide these controllers onto it. So they've created this modular. That looks kind of actually system. really cool. Kinda but it's it's kind of like an iPad or a mini yeah. iPad or whatever else. Does it make phone calls? No, it doesn't. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> so it's like an iPad without an iPhone. Right. Or so we'll have to see who buys it and yeah. how good it is. I think some of the ideas here are interesting. Well, that's a game. Uh, but yeah, but um, we'll see if it's successful. Mm -hmm. I, I have and my doubts. And then you can dock it on your TV and then play in the large screen. Right. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's nice is the controllers can even come apart, and I can hand you know Kelly one of the controllers, and I can have the other half of the controller, uh -huh. and right. we can do oh. multiplayer. Oh. You know, so it's looks like neat. the Graphics are pretty good. Yeah, they're probably on par with the current generation, so okay. they're going to be kind of a little behind. But interesting stuff for those right. gamers out there. Uh, and that's and, coming out in March. Yeah, they're missing the holiday season, which is when 50% of all why, video why, games don't sell. So stupid. that doesn't bode well either. Dumb. Uh, so now for a kind of a more interesting scientific story, you know, the best things in science have always been accidents. Yes. That's when we've discovered the best stuff. So uh, actually over just in Tennessee, our, our neighboring state at uh, – the Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, uh, they were doing some experiments where they were trying to convert CO2, mm -hmm. carbon dioxide, back into fuel, some sort of fuel, like see if they could reverse the process. Okay. They thought it was going to be outrageously complex, and they had all these systems in place. Well, by accident, they discovered they could do it in one process, like one simple catalyst introduced to CO2, and it can be done at room temperature. So basically, they're able to... Uh, and I won't get too much into the weeds, but basically they're able to take copper and carbon nanotubes and mm. make little spikes, if you can imagine them coming to a little point, right. putting a small blob of nitrogen on them, and then which could all be done inside a, inside a little box, imagine in your car, reverse, uh, exhaust, and then you add a little electricity to it, and literally it turns the CO2, when it comes in contact with CO2, back to ethanol. Wow. It literally converts the waste product out of, like, say, your car back into fuel. So it takes the byproduct of the burnt fuel and turns it back into fuel. Yes. It's absolutely phenomenally interesting. When, when, so when, did, would, this, when did this happen? This happened earlier this, uh, this month so uh, was when they announced it. And they said it's, uh, I think they said it was like 70 or 80% efficient. I mean, something incredibly efficient. And again, it could happen at room temperature, that is... which is outstanding. So they can take a greenhouse gas like CO2 and turn it back into ethanol. Unbelievable, right? Mm. So we'll have to see where this technology kind of goes, but it happened by accident, which is always where our best technology comes from. Yeah. Mm. And you can imagine the ramifications, oh you know, goodness. if this works. You put it in the back of every car, mm -hmm. it filters it out and even gives you more fuel to drive. I mean, some really impressive stuff. Wow. All right. What so else you got? That's, final, that's, that's, like that's you, incredible. Like we need more, but what else mm -hmm. you got? That's incredible. Well, uh, the final story is a feel-good story. Uh, this month, actually this last week in Zurich, they had the world's first cyber athlon. And this is for people who, uh, who are disabled or maybe who have uh, soldiers who have lost limbs. Mm -hmm. And now they are actually using robotic limbs, exoskeleton suits. I mean, they had people racing who could never walk before, you know, but before this event, they're using exoskeleton suits they've been training on for six months. Right. It's great for the medical industry that's working on these, you know, biological enhancements. Sure. Yes. But at the same time, it's great for these people. And to watch it was really interesting. And what's wow. the name of this? What are you uh, calling it? Was, well, they're calling it the, I hope I pronounced this right, it's a mixture of cyber and athlon. They're calling it the cybathlon. <laughs> wow. Uh, and if you search that on YouTube, you're going to get all the reviews, kind of all the highlights from the events. Right. Really, really fascinating to see people that otherwise would be wheelchair bound running mm. in a race. I love stories like that. It, that always, it always gets you right in the heartstrings. Right. Yeah. Stuff like that. All right. Larry with uh, First Rule. Great job as always. That ethanol thing is it's that, amazing, isn't it? Holy yeah, mackerel. Is that is really amazing. amazing. That happens. All right, uh, Larry, thanks for checking in. Thanks for having a good uh, weekend. Yeah, thanks, and Larry. thanks for helping us out with the uh, live stream. Anytime. Glad to help. Uh, so we're back up and uh, floating on live stream. Find out 
more at uh, KTRS.com. You can watch the show, and you can always listen on the Big 550 KTRS.